like any other developing country, Uganda is still battling high maternal mortality rate at 343 deaths per 1,000 life births. Some regions like Ramoja are still experiencing high maternal and child mortality. Reverend Colonel Nelson Owiri, the Archdeacon of Lutuke Archdeaconary Abim District, says as religious leaders, they have embarked on educating mothers about the benefits of maternal health care services. And actually, the demand has also increased, not just for the people of Abim, even for the neighbors. And I'm really happy that the facility has come from Church of Uganda side. We also have Kano Health Center too, which is near, which is in a big sub county. But there are extreme places where the health facilities have not been reached, where especially these days people are having the settlement to going back to their camps and they are leaving the present places where they've been staying and they were going back to places that were they were they were driven off by insecurity reasons. So it is the challenge now is those ones who are going back. Actually Hilton, the proprietor of Blessed Land Maternity Home in Abuke Town Council in Abim District, called on other people to invest in private health facilities to complement government. From the month of March uh, up to two weeks ago, so far we have lost five children uh, due to uh, maternal distance. Uh, five mothers after reaching, because from a book town council, the nearest health facility is Oruamuge Health Center, which is three kilometers away from here. The next is watch Health Center 2, which is 10 kilometers away from, the, from here. Then Kiru uh, L Center 2 is uh, something like 5 kilometers and then Morulem is 16. So all these five mothers lost the five children because of the distance uh, when they are going for delivery. Religious and political leaders in all districts need to work together to push maternal and child health agenda. Adia Nakuti, UBC. That's it.